How's it going everyone? It's uh, Kenneth here and it has been a long time since um, I've made a video. Uh, as I'm sure all of you know, the weather hasn't been that great. Um, been a really, really sort of prolonged autumn, even though it's supposed to be spring. But uh, it's actually pretty good today. And even though we haven't really been making videos, we've been doing um, quite a lot down at the allotment. Well, not a lot, you know, just uh, we've been coming down for an hour here and there when there's been gaps in the weather. So most of the stuff we've been doing has basically been uh, in the polytunnel. So we've got loads of seedlings in here. You know, it, it gets really warm despite it being quite cold outside. So I'll um, show you everything we've got. Um, we've got quite a lot going on. Patty pans, um, which is like a summer squash, uh, courgette, uh, tomatoes, peppers and chilies. And we started quite a few brassicas um, as well, uh, as well as some beans and broad beans and peas. Uh, we've also got some chard planted, um, some tomatillos. Those weren't doing too well at home, but they uh, seem to have sort of sorted themselves out out in the polytunnel. They probably just needed a bit more heat and a bit more light, so uh, that's pretty good. Um, other than that, we've had some pesky bugs been munching at our um, chili plants. Now, I don't know what those are, so um, or what's been eating them, but if anyone wants to uh, has an idea, you know, let me let me know down in the comments below. Um, you know, it looks like they're still sort of doing okay. It's just some of the bigger leaves that have been eaten. Okay, um, so we, we've got an idea of how to stop these little bugs, whatever they are, eating the chilies and peppers. Um, I, I think that it's probably just because they're quite small and the, and the leaves are tender and probably, you know, taste well or taste nice for to the, the bugs. But um, other than that, we've been kind of um, preparing some of these larger beds that we made with some walkways down the middle. Okay, another thing um, to update you on, if uh, you watched a couple of the last episodes we have planted some peas and unfortunately the weather's been so bad so they don't look like they're actually going to make it. It doesn't really matter because we've got some more peas on the go and we can probably still plant a few more successions uh, for another month or so so that should be okay it's just a bit annoying really the weather set us up uh, set us back a bit so um, that's pretty much what's been going on you know nothing too eventful literally just um, planting seeds basically um, and waiting for the weather to get better so uh, Matt's gonna be here soon and once he gets here we'll probably just uh, have a quick chat decide what we're gonna do and get on with it where we put them at least yeah then we can remember for next week I'll just put a string across Okay, so basically we've um, planted a row of beetroot and Matt's busy getting a bed ready now and we're going to do a row of carrots in there. Um, so the plan is every couple of weeks we're just going to sow another succession so that we don't ever sort of run out of stuff or we don't get too much stuff in one go. Um, at the same time we've also just planted a row of radish in the same bed as the row of beetroot. Uh, those will grow in like sort of 28 to 35 days, something like that. It's not sort of exact but it's, it's a very quick growing crop. So. Um, by the time those have grown, um, we can pull those out and we can just still carry on planting beetroot in that bed. And we reckon we'll probably get about three rows um, of beetroot in, in one of those sort of raised beds. And um, yeah, so we've pre pretty much planted everything we can so far. In the next couple of weeks we'll be able to start planting um, uh, French climbing beans and otherwise that's pretty much it. Okay, so we actually did plant another um, bed out. We did uh, spinach and spring onions in this bed over here and we're just busy doing some seeds in trays that we'll uh, leave in the polytunnel and plant out when they get bigger. So I'm back home now, we're pretty much done for today. Um, we're gonna try head there tomorrow and do a few more things. But we planted uh, pretty much all the seeds we can plant now so that's pretty good and now it's just about you know succession planting so that we can hopefully have vegetables all summer and autumn. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, sorry it's been so long, but hopefully with the weather getting better, I will be able to start making videos more often again, hopefully every week, like I was doing um, last year. So I will see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of your week.